What's up, guys? King of the North here, back with some more Valheim with my main man, Bomp. How's it going, everybody? We are on day four of our adventure, and this episode slash day, we will be taking on the first boss. Uh, mainly because I know that it gives us something that will be helpful later on. And Bomp has been kind enough to get us ready for our next episode, where we will be building our house. <clears throat> Do you remember where this boss is at, Bomp? Uh, it's right this way. So this is altar. Oh, right down there. Alright, cool. So for this, Bomp is going to be doing some tanking, and I will be doing range damage with the bow. I believe I am level 9 for my range. Alright, let's offer an item. I actually got to put it on my bar first. Sacrifice the deer trophy. There he is. Yeah, get that food in. 26 damage, pretty good off the right off the bat here. If you need to, you can kite him over here to the rocks and you can kind of run around the rocks, get away from them. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm like, oh my god, am I out of arrows? And I just realized my stamina bar was empty. Oh. I'm just kind of firing these off. I, I don't blame him, he's a big target. Shit, he just made some rocks for us by smashing that boulder. <clears throat> That's pretty helpful. Grab them. All right, you doing all right? It looks like your your health bar is pretty good, so. Yeah, I'm just, I was waiting for stamina again. That's why I wasn't swinging. All right, we got him. That's right, Eek Thier, more like Dead Thier. <laughs> Alright, so I got the hard antler off of them. That allows us to make a, an antler pickaxe, which is what we really want. R return to the sacrificial stone with your forsaken trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. <clears throat> now, I believe this gives us a, a buff for a certain amount of time. Yeah, one, once we get it, we can hit F and we get a five minute. Uh, stamina buff to running and jumping on like a 20 minute cooldown or something. Alright, I can't offer it. Uh, actually, I gotta. Ha that's right, here? I gotta hang it on the. That's right, I gotta go back to Stone Hedge. Oh, we were, we were with the wrong stones. My bad. You see one stone, you've seen them all. That's what I think. <laughs> so there's a, a deer on this stone. A little uh, sacrifice. Not use your first trophy on this sacrifice stone. Which one's it got to go on? Oh, all uh, right. I, I actually had the E instead of the the number on my uh, bar. <clears throat> um. So yeah, by running up to this, <clears throat> it gives us a buff. Bob, I'm gonna make a 
pickaxe real quick, and then I'm going to put the other antler into a chest so you can make one as well. I appreciate it. This right chest has one spot and wood if you need wood. I'm alright with wood right now. Uh, open. <clears throat> Gracias. So, we're gonna have to find a spot of land to build this house. It's it's gonna be a pretty big pretty big structure. So, might be able to do it over here by these rocks. We can bust up some of these rocks. Let's see what this crow wants. <clears throat> Black Forest is rich in mi minerals. <clears throat> there you can find copper in the ground and tin lining ocean shore. Now go forth and strike the earth. Uh, you're invisible? I am? Yeah, on my screen you're invisible. <laughs> That's weird. So I'm going to smash up some of these rocks down here, because I think this might be a good spot for the house. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Deer antler is a, a pickaxe. It, I just feel like it's gonna break every time I use it. He's a he's a god or whatever. True. So, and you saw he broke the stone during the fight, so that means he can break the stones when he's dead. that you can tame the boars by throwing strawberries or whatever at them, but uh, I've had no success, and I'm trying to do that right now. It's still not working. Oh, really? <clears throat> Maybe there's a skill we have to get up? No. Animal handling. Awesome. This isn't Dungeons and Dragons. Just kidding, I don't know. <laughs> So this rock that I'm it's a it's a massive boulder, but it's falling apart in chunks. I'll hop out here since my boar taming went poorly. I think Oops. I'm gonna try to build a stack of what is this guy? You carry too oh yeah, I did carry too many rocks just a little bit ago. <clears throat> Uh, let me see if I know him. Yeah, this is here. All right. Missing required. needs 50 rock. Yeah, yeah the, the wood stacks are 50 wood, too, but we got like 20 of them lined up. Yeah, I was hoping to get rid of some of these rocks, but was not able to. And uh, Pickaxe is definitely taking a beating right now. Fortunately, that is free to repair. Shit. Oops. Alright, so I'm carrying 40... Shit, I'm carrying 40 and That's too much for me to carry. Shit. 
stacks for this. Get rid of the stump. I put 250 stacks by the wood. 250 stone stacks. Cool, thank you. Gonna need it if we're gonna raise the land at all. I'm not sure what our plan is. With a yellow heart. That means he ate the stuff. Oh, there you go. You got yourself a buddy now. Oh, now he's frightened. Oh, son of a bitch. Now he's attacking me. Just like my family in real life. <laughs> Said it was only tamed 6%, so I guess he needs to eat more strawberries in the future. My bad. But he's dead. <laughs> so you can partially get them to be your friend and then slaughter them? I guess. I mean, you're supposed to be able to get them, put them in like a pen or something. And then once, I heard, once we can farm, we can feed them something from the farm. And that'll get them to reproduce like in uh, Minecraft. Okay. So you just hand, you hold wheat in front of their faces and they get excited to see other... Pours. That's what I heard. Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm back in the, the hut here to repair real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going flattening this, I think. <clears throat> Obviously not gonna know until like I get like a a layout. the land when you have the hoe it's just a right click is that correct or to raise the land you have to select it from the thing and it costs four stone and you have to be within the radius of a workbench oh okay so I'm definitely... i'll build one nearby since we'll probably need it we don't yeah. have, we can't use it but we'll be able to be in the radius of it which is whatever reason it works there's a four hold on a bear back all right. Oh, God. What happened? Got one of those, uh, wannabe trolls. Oh, I see him. I'm sitting here swinging a pickaxe, and he thinks he can just come up here and get in my face. Pretty foolish. Hey, there's a buried chest you uncovered. Did I? And it's 39 gold and 10 fire arrows. What the hell? Oh, wow. There's buried treasure here. Now I just want to go and dig up the rest of the land. And yeah, I didn't know. It. I know there's a feature. That's cool. I'll put him in the chest. our total to 55 gold coins once we find a stranger to buy some wares from. Nice. Maybe we can <clears throat> make a offering to the gods to give us another buff. Yeah. I don't know. What we'll use it for.
I think I have a pretty good chunk of land. I know, I guess I'm going to build a long house, so uh, I'm sure I'll have to keep going off that way. But I think this is a good start. <clears throat> using a hoe would flatten this a little bit better, I think, rather than digging. True. piece of stone okay it is stone all right it just did not want to break at all I'm at almost maximum uh, weak capacity yeah three again and it's officially night feel cold no the bust of my ass breaking this ground up up oh, yep pickaxe is broken all right guys i think this is a good spot to call it i don't want to do too much while it's at night because you're not gonna be able to see much going on uh the next time we come back i will have an outline on the ground as a i guess like a basic outline of, of how I would like to get our our house going, and then I plan on doing all the recording for uh, for any anything that gets added to it from that point on. So for now, guys, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace. See you.